because I've just picked up a KNF concept, variable ND 2 to 32, which I think is just about enough. I look forward to seeing what some of these images come out, and I want to take my time a little bit more today and try and shoot a lot of them at 1.4 and see what the Simulux does with film. I know who you are, I think. Yeah, nice one. I can't, I can't remember what your, your name is. Good, uh, Gautier. Gautier, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm Jamie. Good. Oh. How are you doing? Good. Yeah? yeah what, what are you doing today? Uh, actually, today I'm going just like to, to do a stroll like in the morning, and nice. uh, later I'm going to Brighton. Oh, nice. But today? Yeah. Oh. Have you been to the carnival? No, I was going to go. I'm uh, going to meet up with James Parsons. Oh, okay. And, he, and I was like, should we do carnival? He's like, man, yesterday with like the knifing and like, let's just stay away. So we were going to do some I think stuff during, around Soho. During the day, it's fine. It's uh, evenings. Yeah, evening, but. like, you, you don't want to, like, yeah. The thing is that, like, I wouldn't recommend to go, to go in the parade. Yeah. Uh, but outside, the outskirts, where they have the sound systems, like, uh, yeah. people are just going, uh, going to the toilet, going, getting yeah. food. Yeah. Those, like, actual smaller moments rather yeah, than the carnage. Yeah, 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 because, because, because in, the, in the parade itself, like, you could, like, Especially today, you could get stuck like for 30 minutes without like being able to walk. Like, yeah, yeah. Forward, Actually, even like, move. Just, yeah, and you're just yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> what, are, what lens are you using as well? 28. 28. Nice. Yeah. So where are you heading now? Just gonna hang around yeah. before you go to Brighton. Just, uh, just, uh, just doing like a little stroll, like the, the the usual loop. Nice. Yeah. Oh man, it's good to see you on the yeah, streets. Well, yeah. Wanna, wanna, wanna join? I'll see. I'll come yeah. with you. Yeah. Absolutely. I uh, was trying to shoot as much as I can at 1.4 and it's getting a bit challenging because I'm popping this back on and off the whole time. 1.4, like, yeah, it's like a... It's hard. Yeah. I prefer the 28, like, because I came from the Q system. Yeah. So, like, with the Q2 it's monochrome, cool. you've got that 28. It's like, you can get, you can just let people come so nice and close to you and zone focus at 5, 6 to 8 or whatever. Yeah, it's great. Um, do you only shoot film? Yeah. 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 Well, I've barely been out. I've just been... Too much of a fair weather photographer, really. I can't get how much that's worn down already. It's mad. I mean, it looks nice. I quite like it. But even just like the color of that dial, yeah, it's so like weird. It looks like um, it's oxidized. So sweat, maybe. Oh yeah, you don't like, touch it that often. For me, it, for me yeah. it's yeah, sweat yeah. like here, yeah, like uh, yeah. This one like uh, clearly like uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, where are you heading now? To to meet? Wherever. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like right now fucking nothing's happening. Just bring the business. Yeah. We became like friends because we had like a one year anniversary. 
um, party, so we had like an event. Just picked up one of Joe's books. Super nice. Glue going off. Yeah, but like that, that's why I, that's why I, I, do, I don't go to the I did use the uh, 28 for a little bit just then, so you saw some of the 28s, but now back with the 50 with the ND, and we're in Trafalgar Square. There's quite a bit of work going on, having a great time. James had a Nando's, had a beer, shock. Uh, and now we're gonna hit the streets, head back towards maybe Soho again. I think I've got a good 10, 15 shots left in this roll, second roll of a C200, so we'll see how it goes. But it's just nice shooting with other people, seeing something different, experiencing something different. And uh, you know, when you're doing that, you still have your moments where you both see something and separate for five minutes, and then you come back and chat it through again. Um, this is very eye-opening and I love seeing other photographers' mindsets when they're shooting and the way they're thinking, the way they're moving. So yeah, sun's still out, plenty of light left. It's gonna be fun.
percentage of times have you bought something from a Leica store when you've entered it? Single figure. So if you walk in a Leica store 10 times, how many times are you buying something? To be fair, I often buy like, the odd stupid thing. Yeah. Like, oh, new memory card. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thumb. Yeah. Oh, the strap. Yeah. Are they even open today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's give it a whirl. It looks absolutely tiny, doesn't it? Put it next to your M11. Yeah. Maybe like two thirds the width? Mm. Three quarters? Especially when it's not erected. For me, that is the dream setup. So I've got the lens, but to get an M11 monochrome with a hand grip, oh, that is so tidy. It probably adds to what, another 6% size, maybe 10. But it feels like it's just like locked in. Mm. And because you've got the thumb grip as well. Yeah. yeah, you're not dropping that. It doesn't look a huge amount bigger. But it definitely Feels felt a lot more sturdy. Feels like that. I'm a bad influence on James. I think he's going to buy it. But he's not sure, actually. That was my day out with my new setup, the 50mm Sumilux, 1.4 close focus. I shot 90 plus percent of the images that you've just seen at 1.4. So being able to use that ND has allowed me to really shoot differently today, which is nice. And uh, oh, it means so much to go shoot with another photographer. Watching how James works, you know, different setup on the M11, the 35 Sumilux. And uh, he's so casual about the way he takes photos, you know. He just sees something, keeps our conversation going and just grabs a little, little number. I'm looking forward to seeing how some of those turn out, but I've always really loved his work, including his non leica work, which is uh, all the stuff he does with Formula One. So big shout out to him. Massive thanks for, for watching it. If you've made it to the end, uh, I do hope the images were all right. And uh, see you in the next one.